Hey guys, Mike here with an unboxing and product review video. My friends at Infrared Technologies have sent me over one of their newer consumer electronic thermal devices to test out. So let's take a look at what's inside the box. The order has been split into three different parts, the camera itself and two different mounts for the device. We'll save the best for last, but we'll start with uh, the first mount. The first mount comes with a laser sight, the mount itself, and the grip, which is quite ergonomic. We'll put that aside for now. Here's another one of the mounts they've sent me for the device. It comes with a couple Allen keys, a 90 degree USB-C adapter, and an O-ring, as well as the heavy duty Picatinny rail mount adapter itself, which I'm not entirely sure how it works, but we'll put it aside and figure that out later. Inside the box you'll find a few things, one of them being the user manual, what appears to be Mandarin on the front and English on the flip side. It also comes with an extension USB-C cable which is used for the mounted uh, handle grip. A nice traveling carrying case which is pocket sized to carry your camera around. The iRay T3 also comes with a rubber cover for the Germanian lens. And there it is, the iRay T3 Search, a pocket-sized thermal camera. Let's take a closer look at this device and what it can do. iRay T3 Search, one of the clearest thermal cameras for smartphones on the market today. It features a 384 by 288 resolution with a 19 and degree wide field of view. It comes with a 19 millimeter large adjustable focus lens, which is optimal for hotspot tracking and quick targeting. And with its Matrix 3 patented image processing algorithm, you're ensured to have a nice crisp, clear thermal image from this device. The all metal body design is compact and durable, pocket size to slip into this case and carry with you wherever you go. The recommended operating temperature is minus 10 degrees to 50 degrees Celsius. The measurement range is zero degrees Celsius to 80 degrees Celsius with a measurement accuracy of plus minus three degrees Celsius. The noise equivalent temperature difference for the T3 is 50 millikelvin at 25 degrees Celsius f-stop 1. The device comes in at around 40 grams in weight and when attached to your smartphone, yes the additional weight is noticeable but I would say it's a manageable weight where you can still comfortably operate your phone with the camera attached to it. All right, I'm gonna demonstrate how the T3 Search connects to your smartphone. First, go ahead by re removing the rubber cover. And same with the phone. If you've got a thick phone case like this OtterBox that I'm using, you're not gonna have enough clearance, unfortunately. Uh, and you're gonna struggle with that, so it's not too big of a problem for me. I don't mind just running it without. This is an old phone, so. Once the T3 search is connected to your smartphone, the app will automatically boot up and you'll land here on this main app page uh, where you'll be able to perform a number of different functions. You'll be able to take photos, start a video recording, and access the media gallery. Here you'll be able to see all the videos and photos that you've taken where you can select them to delete them or share them to your contacts. 
There's also a number of settings that you can change within the app. You can change the temperature reading to Celsius or Fahrenheit, temperature correction, distance, shutter. You can rotate the image 180 degrees depending on your orientation, mirror the image. If you want to include the infrared logo in the top right, those will be displayed within the video recordings that you take. A system camera which just turns on your smartphone camera. Temperature measurement which will just highlight some of the hotter and cooler areas that are visible to the thermal imager. So the hotter temperatures listed in red and cooler areas listed in blue. You have auto shutter which you can hear actually functioning as I move the, the device around. Position, this will toggle the lat long coordinates in the bottom left. Weather, bottom right of the display. Time date stamp, this will be visible within any of the video recordings that you take within this device or within this app. And the compass, this just displays the current heading uh, at the top of the display. And then your speed. Um, I have found this as useful because most of the shots I'm taking are stationary, but I imagine if you were, say, recording from a, a vehicle or something while you're moving, this would maybe become a little bit more useful. And then picture in picture. At the bottom, you can change your language. Now you have four buttons at the bottom here. So you've got your shutter, you've got the hotspot tracking. This will just highlight some of the hotter areas and just, just track them. And then you have a crosshair. With the crosshair, you can move the positioning and then lock it. Um, this is quite useful if you have an airsoft gun or a BB gun and you attach the, the T3 to the top Picatinny rail. Users also have the ability to change their color palette. So you have six different palettes here. Now this is for the T3 search app. Uh, this was the app that was recommended to me for the T3 search. Now I know they have other apps that are, I think better suited for their other models such as the T3 or T2 Pro uh, and other models that are listed on their website. So the search app is the one that was recommended for the T3 search. Now that we've gone over some of the main product specifications, let's take this device out into the field and I can show you some of the uses that I've found for this thermal camera. My friends and I like to record videos of us running drills at the gun range. Often this is in the middle of the night in pitch dark, which becomes a little bit more difficult to record without the use of expensive night vision goggles and recorders. That's where thermal imaging devices such as the T3 Search become very useful as you can use it at any time of the day and still see quite clearly. This is 1 a.m. for example uh, with the only light being provided from the moon. Not only do thermal devices provide cool footage that you can share to your social media networks, but they're also a useful tool to analyzing your training and the progress made along the way. I review the footage that I record to decipher what inefficient movements that I need to work on the next time I go out and run drills. Right on. This shows how dark it can get at the range when we train. With the system camera on, you can barely see. However, with the T3 search, I can still see my buddy downrange. Here's some more footage of us training.
Once again, these recordings were taken in the middle of the night, 1am, the only lights coming from the moon. Here you can see my buddies at a distance of between about 100 to 125 meters, just walking in between some of the range of bays. With the cool surroundings of the environment that we're in, um, you can see their heat signatures quite clearly as they pass in between bushes uh, and some of the small huts that they have installed on the range space. This would be useful for search and rescue, uh, looking for an injured or downed individual, uh, say in, in a forest or a, a valley where the visibility is low, say it's in the middle of the night, uh, or there's fog even. Uh, imagine this device would do quite well in being able to pick up the heat signature and locate that individual. Infrared has listed the T3 search as having a 1340 meter detection range. Now while this video doesn't come anywhere close to that distance, it still clearly demonstrates the hotspot tracking capabilities of the device. At a thousand meters, you're going to see a lot less detail. It might just be a small glowing blob that's moving. Nonetheless, you'll be able to pick up that heat signature. There's definitely a use for this type of technology within certain professions such as physiotherapy, where thermal imaging could be used to diagnose a number of issues such as soft tissue injuries and ligament injuries, where the injuries would be more prone to generating a larger amount of heat in that area during a certain exercise. And the therapist would be able to use this imager to locate those areas and recommend exercises that would target and help rehabilitate the individual. This demonstrates how these devices could be used to examine electrical panels. It becomes quite useful when trying to find high electrical resistance points along a circuit before it comes too hot, causes an outage, or even an explosion. Usually these electrical failures are caused by poor surface contact or an overloaded circuit. But when looking at these panels and these connections through a thermal imager, it becomes much easier to pinpoint the problematic areas. These devices could also be used by plumbers to detect invisible leaks that are not visible to the human eye, um, as well as troubleshoot underfloor heating to determine if there's a gap in the pattern of pipework that's been laid out, or even uh, determine if there's blocked pipes and radiator issues, um, and whether or not those need a power flush by confirming cold spots and highlighting old system inefficiencies all of which can be done with the use of a thermal imager. Thermal devices could be used for spill or leak prevention and detection, where an early warning system could alert a maintenance crew if irregularities were detected from the thermal imagers. As shown here, I've run my steam and it's able to pick up all the hot condensation that's being blown from the steam unit. First you start by mounting the phone to the handle grip uh, by tightening this knob down. Next you'll do the same with the thermal monocular, put it in place and tighten the other knob. Then you'll use the USB-C extension to connect to the monocular, run behind the phone and plug it into the port on the back of your phone and remove the rubber cover. Once the app boots up, you'll now have a fully functional thermal monocular attached to this handle grip, which I found to be a sturdy solution, especially if you attach it to um, a tripod. So I've I've got this quick plate adapter here that I've tightened down and it makes it really easy to just slide it onto a tripod and leave it at the end of the range uh, while in training.
Overall, I'm quite impressed with how this device performed and would strongly recommend any night vision and thermal users to go check out the infrared lineup of products on their website. They have a number of consumer electronic thermal devices, such as the T3 Search. At this price point, it's hard to beat. So a big shout out to Infrared for sending me this product and stay tuned for more videos like this on how thermal devices can be used.